your chest rating is stuck. Oh man, I'm stuck. Hey, step bro, I'm home. No. No. Well, I'm gonna change that right now. In this pit run, we're gonna go from beginner's level all the way up to master's level with very simple concepts. Are you ready? Let's go then. All right, so our first opponent is 596. We're starting at 600 level. Very simple stuff. Let's push these two pawns. Let's grab the space in the center and we'll go from there. We're playing rapid. I wanna try to explain absolutely everything that I'm thinking of. He goes pawn to e5 and we're trying to defend this pawn. I don't know if this is an actual opening. I have no idea. Let's take back with the pawn because if I take back with the queen, he has knight to c6, hitting my queen with a tempo and we don't like that. He goes pawn to d6. Let's develop all the pieces. And now he goes knight to h6. You should never do this. You should never put the pieces on the rim of the board. That's usually not a very good idea. Let's now develop this bishop. I could have taken the knight right away, really. There was nothing wrong with that. We were doubling the pawns and he would have these very ugly double pawns on the h file, but he goes queen to f6, maybe defending this knight. So we can just go bishop to g5, attacking the queen. You can go queen to g6 because of this bishop. He will probably go queen to e6 with a check. And if he goes queen to e7 check, well, that's gonna be lovely. That is a free queen. Queen to e6, there we go. Now I'm gonna go king to d2, and I wanna put the rook on e1, pinning the queen to the king. Let's see if he notices that. Nope, he does not. Let's go rook to e1, and that queen is gone. You can't put anything in front of the queen to defend it, so the queen is gonna fall on the next move. Hopefully he doesn't like resign right away. Let's see if he takes a rook. Let's see if he moves the queen somewhere and I take the king. That could be fun. He takes a rook, okay. Let's take back with the queen, and that is a check again. If you cover with the bishop, that is checkmate. Of course, he has to move the king, and now, do we have any checks? Yeah, we do, we have a couple. Bishop to b5, he can cover with the knight. There's bishop to f5, which is a free bishop. And there's knight to e5. I kinda like this move. It is a knight sacrifice, but I'm opening up the center and I'm launching an attack to the king. It looks interesting enough. I'm gonna go knight to e5. He takes with a pawn, I take back with a queen, and now my pieces are getting way closer to his king. Pawn to f6 would be a fork, but I have queen to d5 check, so that's not a problem. Knight to c6, attacking my queen. Okay, now let's go bishop to b5, pinning this knight. So he can't take my queen right here. He takes on d4, how interesting. I could take that with the queen and you still can't move this knight. But I could also go queen to d5, looks a little bit better. Now, you know what, let's take on d4 first. And if you go king to c7, there's bishop to f4. And there's gonna be checkmate in a couple moves. Yeah, there we go. Queen to d4 and now the king can go to b6, very important. That's why I like this move a little bit more. And now bishop to f4, check. You have to sacrifice a knight. You have to sacrifice the bishop and then queen takes d6 would be checkmate bishop there okay let's take back with the bishop you have to go back to the d file and then where the hell is the checkmate i don't know king to d7 all right he might be threatening knight to f5 is it actually a threat all right let's go bishop to c5 check so if king to b6 queen to d6 would be checkmate you can go to b6 now because of the bishop and i didn't want to put the bishop on the e file because i want to bring the rook to e1 so hopefully i'm not blundering something here king to e6 okay so now my queen is under attack let's go queen to d6 or maybe bishop c4 yeah i think bishop c4 is even nastier check forcing the king to go to f5 now let's go queen to d3 check and i really want to bring this knight and the rook into the attack as well all right let's bring the knight into the game i might have checkmate here but i don't see it Rook there, pinning my queen to the king. But the big difference is that I have multiple pieces that I can block with. So it's not really a pin if you can get out of it. I like this move, knight to e4 check. Maybe bringing the knight into d6 on the next move. And look at these bishops, man. You can't move the king anywhere. King there, okay, let's bring the knight to d6 now. That's a check, I'm blocking the pin. That's a double check actually from the knight and from the queen. King to e5, now let's finally bring the rook to e1 check. And checkmate is very close, but I don't see it actually. It's way trickier than I thought. Bro, where the hell is the checkmate? King to f6? Do I like sacrifice the knight to distract this rook? King to f6, knight to e8, rook takes, queen to d6 check, bishop e6, I don't like that. Wow, king to f4. I think that makes life way easier for me. I think queen to g3 should be checkmate. Am I missing something here? I don't think so, I think that's checkmate. You can't go back to f5 because of the knight. Yeah, queen to g3 is mate. GG. And we get the first win of the day and 38 points. That is impressive. And let's check the game review real quick. Yeah, knight to h6 is an inaccuracy. You never want to put the pieces on the edge of the board. You always want your pieces to be pointing at the center, at the middle. Knight to f3, for example, is looking at e5, is looking at d4. If I bring this knight to c3, it will be looking at e4 and d5. There's a very famous saying, I don't know by whom, whoever controls the center controls the game as well. Knight to e5 was also an inaccuracy, but it looked way too good to not do it. I couldn't resist. Oh, queen takes d6 was even better, but then king to b6, and I didn't see what was next. Bishop e3, king takes 
b5, knight c3, this is a very aggressive. King to a6, and then what? Queen to d3? Holy. Then you're forced to go to a5, and queen to b5 is checkmate. Well, look at that. I missed checkmate in six. Whatever, we still won, and now let's go into the next game. Okay, now we're playing a user from Australia, and he goes pawn to d4, and let's go pawn to d5 here. Will he play the queen's gambit? No, he doesn't. He goes pawn to d3. Uh, let's be very aggressive on this game, actually. Let's go pawn to e5. He takes the pawn on e5, of course. Now let's go knight to e4. Will he keep attacking my knight? I don't know. He attacks my knight again, indeed. So let's go bishop to f5, defending the knight. Knight to c3, okay. He gives me the possibility to double his pawns. Should I take that possibility? I think I will. Yes, sir. Knight takes c3, pawn takes c3, and then maybe pawn to c6, actually. Damn, this guy is playing very quick. Let's go bishop to e7 and then pawn to h5 and h4. Yeah, he castles now. Pawn to h5. And if he doesn't go pawn to h4, I'm gonna punish him. I'm gonna punish him real good. No, he does. He, he goes pawn to h4. Um, let's try to scare him off a little bit. Let's go rook to g8 and pawn to g5 anyways. Knight to g5. Okay, he wants to take this pawn. But I could actually prevent that if I go bishop g4 attacking the queen. Then if he blocks, I just bring the bishop back and this knight is under attack. Yeah, I like that. Let's go bishop g4 attacking the queen. Wow, bishop to f3. This guy is very aggressive. Okay, let's take the knight now. Yeah, of course he takes there. Now, I really want to take this pawn, like really badly. Let's take on h4. He takes on h4, I take back with the queen and now things are looking a little bit scary. Not too much. Yeah, he takes on h4, let's take back with the queen. Now this bishop's under attack. Okay, there are two plans here. I could go pawn to g5 and pawn to g4, or I could bring this rook all the way out to g6, which is a lot slower. Yeah, I'm just gonna push the pawns, actually. Bishop there, and okay, he wants to bring the queen out to the game as well. So let's go pawn to g4. He goes f4. So if I take on Poisson, he just takes back with the queen, and now he's attacking the pawn on f7, and the queen is defending everything out here. So that is not an option. Instead, let's go pawn to g3. I'm threatening checkmate in one. So you have to move this rook out. But when you move the rook, now I have queen to h2 check. You have to move the king, and I start pushing this pawn. That might not even work, but it looks very scary. So let's go queen to h2 check. King to f1 is the only move, and then pawn to h4. He goes queen to e2, but this bishop is just trapped. If you take on h3, that's checkmate in one. Be very careful, buddy. Oh no, Jesus. He was playing so well, man. He was actually playing very well for a 600. Don't get me wrong, I'm not doing a Tramnik out here. But yeah, he was very quick and he was very solid with his moves. Well, let's check the game review for this game. All right, so Bishop takes Knight on G5 was great. Then he takes on G4 and I take on H4 and that is a miss. But then he plays a miss and then I play a miss as well. So there were three misses in a row. And you know what's funny? After pawn to H3, I'm not actually threatening anything. I know it looks very scary, but I'm not threatening anything. If you just leave this bishop there, that's totally fine. Let's say you just develop this bishop. Then I take the bishop, you take with the queen, we trade everything, and you have two rooks and a minor piece. I have two rooks and a minor piece, and white is actually a little bit better here. And that is the power of a scary move. You're not actually threatening absolutely anything, but it looks good, your opponent gets shaky legs, and they will respond with a blunder. If you just pause for a minute and you think, huh, wait a minute, there's actually nothing here. My opponent is full of shit. I'm not gonna respond to your scary move because it's actually not threatening anything. So I'm just gonna keep developing. Then you would have survived this position, but my opponent got scared. He reacted to my bluff and he took this pawn. I'm distracting the bishop, and now queen to h1 is checkmate. You can't move anywhere. The queen is blocking the escape of the king, and this is just game over. So good game to both my opponents for now. You guys rock, and I will see you in part two.